There's so much individual experience in this life. There are so many different varieties of relationship and family and community. The one thing we are always going to have in common is that it hurts to lose the people we love. My granddaughter. My mother. My sister and my dad. My Everybody you meet sister. is going through something. My daddy. They're dealing with something. They're losing someone. My son. Grief is natural and normal. All of us do it, but oftentimes we say, oh, this feels too uncomfortable, I don't want to feel this. And we don't leave spaces for real responses. Suppressing grief, leaving it in the corner where we never talk about it unless we're forced to, that has created an epidemic of unspoken grief in this culture. We know that in general, people who experience the death of a loved one can still go on to lead very happy, healthy lives. We also know that without appropriate support or enough support, that can be very difficult. So the social support piece really becomes critically important. Most people have really good intentions and they really want to support their person. The problem is that we're taught the wrong ways to be of help. Grief work is about humanity is about the work that we do to create a real safe environment for all of us to do the work of loving, to do the work of losing. It's about the work that we do on being more human. My ex-husband. My twin sons. My dad. My stepdad. My son. My dad. My cousin. My babies. If we want the kind of culture where we feel cared for inside our deepest pain, and we feel capable and confident in caring for our people's pain, our friends, our family members' pain, then we need to open these conversations about grief. They're really conversations about love.